Welcome back to Mega Man X. Today we're gonna go after Chill Penguin. Now, what was I saying in the last part, which was five seconds ago? Uh... I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> Chill Penguin. The reason I'm going after Chill Penguin first is because there is a mandatory upgrade that you get in this level. So, I'm going to assume typically most people go after Chill Penguin first. I'm not sure because when I first played this game, I actually did it. Well, I actually done all the X games without a guide. Because there's quite a bit to find in these games, especially X5 and X3. <laughs> um, sorry, I cringed at that game, but sorry. Anyway, there is a mandatory armor upgrade for X in this level, and I think this is the only instance where an armor upgrade is mandatory in any X game. Because it's literally on the way, but for the other armors, you've got to. Do a little bit of searching and in some cases backtracking it just depends on the path you take and I thought about it in the five seconds that I took a break between this and the last video and I'm going to try to go for the path that has the least amount of backtracking dang it even though I will have to ouch backtrack to this level for something because what I need to get a certain item is in this stage. I'll point that out later. But here is a Dr. Light capsule. These are how you get your armor parts. And Dr. Light, for you Mega Man aficionados, is the one who created the original Mega Man and also Mega Man X. Whether or not Mega Man was killed before X or this is a modified version of Mega Man, I honestly do not know. Don't ask me. I don't know the. I just don't know. But, um, he talks a lot. Yeah, 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 okay. The only thing the world has never known, yada, yada, yada. This guy's gonna receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Okay. Now we just got... Oh, yeah, I had a charge shot. Anyway, <laughs> just step into the capsule and we get some new armor. Well, part, really. To our legs. And now we can dash. And this is mandatory, and the game even pretty much tells you that if you go into the options, because as you saw at the beginning of part one, I put it for life. I went into the options to change the button configuration for the dash. Because if I didn't, dashing would be. Let me see. I think it would be. I think it's X by default. And that's just not very comfortable for me, so I usually change it to the right trigger. Hey, hey. Okay, now that was the right armor. And I'm not using it. Anyway, you know what? There's an item up here, but I can't get it, so I'm just gonna go to the lower path. Okay, there's some ice. Ooh, another right armor. What is the point? Whatever. Anyway, with the dash, you can obviously dash, but there's also something called a dash trick. If you dash and shoot at the same time, your shots actually do, I want to say double damage. I'm not sure if it's actually double, but it does do more damage than if you're just standing still. So try to use that to the best of your advantage if you can. It's especially helpful for bosses if you try to X Buster them only. What I mean by X Buster is you will get a new power by defeating these Maverick bosses, as we'll see here. Anyway, Chill Penguin. Not really hard, but he can hurt. That's all I got to say. And there's also a trick for jumping from wall to wall. If you press the dash button while jumping off a wall, you'll actually cover more distance. And this is very useful for bosses. So, Urgh! ouch. Okay. Now, Ch Chill Penguin, his attack pattern is pretty predictable. However, if he jumps into you, that actually does a lot of damage, so be careful. Okay, you know what? You're dead. Okay. 
But yeah, this is the Maverick I generally start with on every run. The only time I didn't start on him was my very first play, I think. I want to say the first Maverick I started with was... No, no, you know what? It was Chill Penguin. I never actually started on another Maverick before. But, uh, whatever. Anyway, once you defeat a boss Maverick, you get their weapon. In this case, it's Shotgun Ice. This is going to be useful for getting an item later on, as well as defeating a Maverick boss. However, I'm not actually going to use their weaknesses to defeat them. At least not yet. But yeah, return the game. Okay, so let me think. I'm, I'm seriously doing this off the top of my head. I probably should have written this down, but that takes effort. So yeah, in the next part, we'll actually go to Storm Eagle. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.